And commercial activities were grounded to temporary halt in Benin City, the Edo State Capital, following a protest by the Edo Civil Society organization, Edo CSO, as the call on President Balatinibu to address the problem of economic hardship in Nigeria. The group who took to their protests across major roads down to the city centre Ring Road with placards of various inscriptions wants President Balatinibu to fix the Nigerian economy as a matter of urgency. They also decried the dollarization of a Nigerian economy while stating that Nigerians should be used should their currency, which is Naira, as they want the Naira to regain its values as Nigerians do not use dollars. Stressing that the citizens of the country were living in the most difficult times since the creation of the country, they call on the president to fix the problem as it was becoming too unbearable for the citizens. We are saying enough is enough. On the 29th May 2023, Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tunubu, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, took an oath. And one of the oaths he took is to protect the Constitution. And in the Constitution, it states that the welfare and the security of Nigerians must be its primary priority. Today, we are no longer well-fed. There is no security anywhere. The man that is hungry is looking for how to survive and is taking advantage of the insecurity of the other man to rip him off of his hard hand money. Kidnapping people everywhere. We need the situation to work, this, the, the economy to work. The economy is not working. Every day. Imagine you went to the market to buy a bag of rice today, they tell you 60,000. The next day they tell you it's 80,000. So how many of us as citizens of this state had that amount of money to buy rice for our families. The cost of living is skyrocketing every day. The dinero has continued to lose its value day in, day out. How can we survive? Uh, we are more of an import uh, country than an export company. We cannot survive this this moment. So we are saying to President Tunubu to listen to our voices so that we will not resort to self-help. And when there is hunger, there is anger. It is hunger that leads to anger. And where there is anger, there is destruction. I, as a person, as a clergyman, I meet with people twice, three times in a week. You can feel anger in the faces of the worshippers. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.